Right, so this is the part of the episode where I rate the device in eight different categories out of 10. And to begin with, it's the build quality. Now the build quality from me gets a 10 out of 10, and that's based on that it's using magnesium alloy and aluminium to help it achieve that thin body that it currently has. At the same time, it helps with cooling. Not only that, the hexagon design, there's a lot of engineering that's gone into this device for it to deserve a 10 out of 10 for the build quality. Um, for those of you who haven't watched the previous video, that hexagon design you see all around the X-Series indicates where the airflow is happening and that device, considering how small it is, has ample airflow. Which leads beautifully onto performance. Now, in performance, I've given it a 10 out of 10 again, and this is because no matter what I threw at this device, it would handle the task with ease, which I was very impressed with. You have to remember, this is a 14-inch laptop that is providing me the ability to do everything I want to do in something that thin and that small. It's, it's crazy. Visual experience, this device, again, it's getting a 10 out of 10, and that's thanks to the Dolby Vision and the Dolby Atmos that's built into the machine. This is there to actually, specifically for those kind of uh, users for the laptop. So if you watch a lot of media content, Dolby Atmos and Dolby Vision will make sure that you have a great experience. I've done a battery rundown test on the device and it fared very well. Um, sorry, just need to, need to get the monitor running again. I'm actually using the X14 right now as my monitor for this camera over here. So again, it's actually handling tasks very well and the visual experience that I'm getting even just looking at my um, display over here with everything running on it looks really cool and very vibrant. So the display, the visual experience is a 10 out of 10 again. Now the built for purpose criteria. Now it's getting a 10 out of 10 here again because they've designed this device for creators and content consumers in mind and it does both of those things beautifully. This device is pretty much near perfect bar a few complaints that I have but again I don't see how they could have got around those complaints if there was an alternative then I would usually suggest it in this video but I don't see what they could have done to manage the reasons on areas that I've marked them down which I'll touch on in a bit but for built for purpose it does great creativity work it's able to handle pretty much everything I threw at it so that's Premiere, Photoshop, Illustrator, uh, Audition it was able to handle all of those perfectly fine if you have any applications that you use, just hit me in the comment below and I'll let you know if you're able to run it on there. Moving on to the next part, which is battery performance. Now, as for battery performance, I'm gonna do a voiceover on here because I'm actually recording this part as I'm in between the battery rundown testing. There are loads of people doing battery rundowns on gaming on this device, but there's a whole aspect of this device that people aren't aware of and they should really be aware of this, is that this is also a creator's device. So I'm doing a rundown on the well, I'm doing a battery rundown on consuming media and creating media. So I'll insert those footages here. In media consumption, the Alienware performed quite well. Although they claim up to 11 hours of battery life, I got maximum five hours and 25 minutes, which isn't bad for a gaming laptop, but there is a way that Alienware achieved this. The Alienware X14 actually has something called a hardware mux. What this allows you to do is choose between whether you want to use the dedicated graphics or the integrated graphics within the laptop. By using the integrated graphics within the laptop, you use less power. You can leave it on automatic and the laptop is smart enough to figure out whether you're watching content or creating content. If you're watching content, it will only use the integrated graphics. If you're creating content, then it will use the dedicated graphics. As for creating content, I only got 1 hour 25 minutes out of it. At first I was quite disappointed, but then I remembered uh, whilst I was creating that content, I had a USB Type-C loop deck connected to the laptop, which is consuming quite a bit of power, but that helps me edit a lot faster. I also was uploading and downloading a lot of media whilst editing, so again, that would require the laptop to use a bit more power. So in all fairness, I think the laptop performed quite well in terms of editing on the battery considering everything I was doing. And for all those things, I've rated the device a 7, which is a very respectable score considering it's a laptop. Considering it's a gaming laptop. 
Now for everything that we've gone through from the performance, the build quality, to how the device functions and its usability, when it comes to heat management, this device does a beautiful job of it. Now Alienware use something called Cryotech. Uh, if you don't know what that is, I have another video made. Um, just, I'll try and link it up here if I can find it. Uh, but essentially it's a combination of things that Alienware use. For example, they use um, Element 31, which is a gel that's inside their machine, which distributes heat uh, better than any other material used in computers to this day. Um, they've got smart controls for their fans. They've got loads of different elements within the Cryotech, which is their combination of things that they use to help keep their machine cool. So with the help of Cryotech 4.0, the Alienware's heat management is superb. And for that, I'll give it an eight. I wouldn't have given it a perfect 10 if it was able to keep the noise down when I was performing uh, high demanding tasks. Although it's not a deal breaker at all, like I'm expecting noise to come out from this device because look how small it is and look at the performance it's giving me. Um, but that's the only place I could mark it down for is because of how loud it was, but by no means is that a deal breaker. I'll be happy to have this device with that noise and get the performance that I'm getting out of something that portable and that thin, that light. Now for functionality, I'm giving this device a 10. Bear with me. Now the reason I'm giving it a 10 is because you have to take into consideration how small this device is and what they've packed into this device. They've provided two USB Type-C Thunderbolt ports, which is ample for anyone to get everything done. The fact that there's a third USB Type-C port, which is for charging, means two primary ones that you have won't be taking up any space when you do need to charge the device. By now, everyone should have a USB-C um, hub. If you don't, I'll link one below of one that I recommend. But yeah, I found all the functionalities on the laptop in terms of ports ample uh, that's because i do have a hub otherwise i wouldn't have found it quite useful i probably would have marked it down lower but just get a hub guys like it's not that hard once you have a hub just don't lose it keep it somewhere safe and when you need it trust me it'll be the best thing that you bought for your future computing needs and another reason why i'm giving the device a 10 is because they really thought about the user uh, when it comes to the keyboard by putting those media functions uh, on the right hand side of the keyboard is so useful and I can't express to you how often I actually use them and how useful they are. Um, one gripe I did have with it and it's a really simple gripe uh, is basically when I was first started using the laptop I found myself using the volume up and volume down on the mute by accident when I'm trying to press enter or backspace. So that was a bit of a learning curve but once you're used to it the functionality of having those media bars on the right hand side super useful and you will find yourself using it quite often and also the, all the f function keys at the top the fact that you can actually control your performance high performance your rgbs and everything from that function role by removing all those media keys and putting them on the right again it helps the user out to have a more user purpose built keyboard and then finally moving over to portability i'm giving it a 10 again because of what kind of device it is and how portable it is it deserves that 10 rating. There's no other way to explain it. It's a 14 inch laptop that gives me everything I need in terms of performance and it's something that I can carry around easily. So I'm really happy with that. In total, this is probably the highest I've rated any gaming laptop and it's achieved a very, very respectable 75 out of 80 on the MIA scoreboard. So if this is a laptop that you're looking into getting, I can highly recommend it to you. So who is this laptop for? If you're a gamer that likes to be on the move, this is the laptop for you. If you like to consume content, this could be the laptop for you, but it shouldn't be your first choice. If you're a hardcore gamer, and I mean you require performance and you're not really too fussed about portability, this could be the laptop for you, but again, should not be your first choice. One key thing to take away from the Alienware series is that if you see the Alienware X series, it means it's innovation first. If you see the Alienware M series, that means it's performance first. That means the M series will always outperform the X series, but the X series will have all the latest innovations, all the latest gadgets um, built into it. So expect a slightly more of a heavier price tag for the X series. So remember, there are alternatives available and in certain areas, this shouldn't be your first choice. But if you're a content creator and you like to play games and you want portability, this should 100% be 
be one of your first choices. It doesn't make sense. This should this this should just be your first choice. If it comes to portability, content creation, and gaming, all three of these things are very important to you. This gets a very high recommendation for me, and for me, it would be a first choice device. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got everything out of it. If you have any questions, do leave it in the comments. And please, if you haven't done so already, it doesn't cost you anything. Help support the channel by hitting that subscribe button. And I look forward to catching you up on the next video. Until then, bye.